Just wanted to ask about the style of play that Dry Saddle's line is playing with right now, kind of how you would describe their style of play and, and why you think it's working. I think it's working mostly because you've got three guys who are making a lot of plays. Um, tremendous confidence right now. Um, you know, they are good on the forecheck, getting in when they get pucks in deep and recovering them. But a lot of it has to do with them just being able to um, maintain possession, not give it up, and making plays. And there are time and place where they have to dump it in and go get it. But, you know, I think a lot of it is one puck play, making good decisions, but also the speed of um, Fogel and especially McLeod being able to push back the defenseman that allows it easier for uh, entries. So they've been able to spend a lot of time in the offensive zone. You talked earlier this year about having taken a look at Warren Fogel's offense from the past in the areas where he found success. Can you maybe just discuss that process of as a coach, when you have guys that you know maybe aren't where they want to be, there are things you can do to try and set them up for success and what you did with Fogel to position them that way. Um, yeah, just some guys feel more comfortable, whether that's on entries, um, you know, there are disadvantages of playing your off wing, um, but there are a lot of advantages. One, breaking the puck out against a pinching defenseman. Playing your offside is much easier than playing your uh, strong side. Um, another one is playing your offside on entries. Um, coming into the offensive zone, being able to cut to the middle of the ice where it's so much more dangerous, um, you can make plays there. Another one is being able to one-time the a puck. Uh, Warren can shoot the puck as hard as anybody. He's very dangerous in those situations. Um, I'm not sure if he's benefited on that um, last couple of weeks on certainly that play. But um, yeah, you just try and put players where they're more comfortable, um, more comfortable on their position, but also who they're playing with. And right now, I think he feels pretty comfortable. Hi, Chris. Uh, just wondering if you can um, give us an update on Gagne and, and Holloway. Uh, neither one we're going to play tonight, um, but they, we expect them to be ready for the weekend. So that's, that's the plan. You've had Derek Ryan at center for a little while now. What, what do you see from him there? He's somebody who started his Oilers tenure here but at, at, at center, rather, but has mostly played the wing. What do you like about him at center? Um, well... He's played most of his time in the NHL as center, and recently he's been, uh, before the playing at center right now, been a lot of right wing. Whether he's been on the third line right wing or fourth line right wing, that's pretty much where he's been. Um, we've used him quite a bit, taking some key face-offs for us, starting penalty kills on the right side. Usually he's taken them. Um, but here's a guy that plays anywhere between 10, 12 minutes, Extremely hard minutes every night. A lot of key face-offs, D-zone situations. Um, and just somebody who's really smart. Obviously, he knows how to play the game. Um, a player that any coach appreciates because he does the little things right and doesn't cheat on offense. So there's, there's a lot of things I like about him. Just on Ryan McLeod, the move to the wing, um, obviously the offense is coming. Playing with dry sidles is a big part of that, I'm sure. But, you know, are there some issues that you saw in his game that have been remedied by maybe a more simple game as a winger? Um, the offensive production has shown with him up on the left side. But overall, his game, I've been very happy with him, whether he's been playing left wing or center. He's been driving possession. He's been spending more time in the offensive zone than defense in the D zone. Um, scoring chances against when he is on the ice, doesn't usually have his fingerprints over him. You know, he's pretty responsible on that side of it. Yeah, there was some frustration early in the season with his goal production, but a lot of that had to do with just being unlucky. Um, right now, he's benefiting. Um, getting the goals, you know, he's been around the net a little bit more. He's been playing with guys with a little more confidence, a little more playmaking, maybe setting him up to score goals. But I think for the most part all season, he's played pretty well.